let's move on to the next one, which is the water body node. And this is super fun, right? So the thing to note about the water body node is that it is not creating a liquid that you can like put in your hype and have it like fill an area like a liquid would. Um, it is basically defining an area and saying that this area is liquid and other objects that come into contact with that are going to react as if they are in a liquid. So how are we going to demonstrate that? Let's get one of my favorite objects for this type of demonstration the marquee cube let's make it nice and big here and uh, i want to make sure yeah we're right on top of this cube all right so this is physics so we do need this object to have physics and now let's go to our nodes and let us add the water body node So our target is going to be this object. Um, and already, this is already dynamic, so we can already kind of test it out and see what it does there. Now, let's make it a little bit lower so we can see it a little bit better. But you see the cube drops in there, and then it kind of like floats back up to the surface, right? So it's reacting as if it was in water. I'm going to make our camera angle just a little wider here so we can see this better. Oop. Set camera, there we go. So that's better, right? And then we have a bunch of options in here. So we can have a flow direction. Um, so essentially it'll simulate as if that water is flowing. If we say we're gonna go X1, then when this cube drops in, it's gonna also get pushed as it floats on the water. Of course, it leaves the area, it falls away. What else can we do with this? Of course, we can change the speed of that. We can change the directions with this X, Y, and Z. We have the buoyancy, right? Which is how much an object is gonna float. So I'm not sure how these values work. If we put this down, the, the cube is gonna sink more. Yep, sinks to the bottom, but it's still getting pushed by the flow. That's cool. Um, let's put that back up. And then the linear and angular drag, those are basically going to slow movement, either linearly or angular. 